Reel, reel, just start reeling. Yep. Got him. There we go. You know, for most of us, it's just a day or two that we have to fish. The weather is normally not our friend, and we don't have a lot of dough to spend on gear. We just want to catch some fish. Is that too much to ask? On today's G3 Sportsman, we're going after catfish, and we're going to be weekend warriors just like you. So come along and join us, and let's start the weekend early. You know what? We're just as tickled as we can be to be, have that be our first one. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Sportsman 200, bub. You know, most of you guys that fish, you, you, you sit around and you're working, you're anticipating the weekend coming up, and all week long the weather is just absolutely gorgeous. Then come Saturday morning, what happens? It's either raining or it's the wind's blowing 100 mile an hour or whatever, it turns cold or whatever, but you've only got those two days, so you go ahead and you break it. Well, today is going to be one of them days for us. So we're going to show you guys that even us, you all make fun of us saying these we're all pretty boys and doing these shows. Well, we're going to go out there and be weekend warriors just like you. We're going to try to catch some catfish out of our big G3 Sportsman 200. So come on and go with us. These units are so sensitive today that this is all air bubbles. And you know how windy it is mm. today, Scott. This is all air that's been blown and mixed in here. And it's picking up the bubbles. What we got is a few fish like this one. This fish up in here, we're in 14 foot of water, but I know a lot of times when we get a hard southwest wind, here's That's a school, bait fish. school of bait right here. The catfish will move up back up into this little bay and you can start to see there's some stumps and cover back in here. And if we keep moving back this way and we keep seeing a few fish, we'll probably stop and see if we can get one. We're fishing, buddy. Well, what we did when we came in here, we ran the Garmin side view, and I came down this bank, and right back in here, we saw what we thought were catfish. And when we stopped, we, we anchored ahead of the catfish, and then we fan casted as far as we could around the boat. The bigger the diameter your baits are around the boat, the better chance you have at intercepting one of those catfish as he moves away from the boat or one's moving along, alongside the boat. So it's like sitting there with a little plate or a big plate. Look here, look here. Yep. Woo! Pull and drag, ain't he? <clears throat> Woo! As you were saying. That one's a long way back there. I, th I threw that one, I don't know, maybe 75 yards. I know back. you were you were fresh and full of yourself then. The key to this was using the locator to well, find the fish. There's, there's no question about that. No question about that. That's a nice blue cat. It guy. is. That's a, that's a nice blue cat anywhere. Now you don't think these fish aren't healthy. There you go. Look at that fish. Let me see if I can get him. Get him on hook. That, that's about a 10 pound fish, about 10 years old. And uh, these blue catfish folks, whether you know it or not, they only grow about a pound a year up to 10 pounds and then they can start putting on a little bit more weight after that. Well, she's gonna, she's gonna have her chance. Oh, got it right here, Jeff. Look. He may have come up. Oh. Reel, reel, just start reeling. Yep. Got him. Well, I don't know if he's on there now. Keep yep. it coming yep. at you. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh man. Hey. Ain't that nice. Hey. <laughs> Right there for you. Can't do the hackberry flip on these. Come here. There you go. Nice. Hit hard, didn't he? Oh, I, I didn't mean, even get now, to see him hit. I mean, took it down <laughs> like he's supposed to do. You know, we ain't been out here five minutes. We found them on our garments here. They're making it easy as we can possibly make it for you guys with this side imaging. Found us a few catfish in the shallow water. Let's put her back and try it again, Jeff.
You ready, Eric? There he is. Same spot. Same spot. They'll shake that head at you. No, they do. Oh, yeah. Boy, how many, how many fishermen have got these right here? Bill? Well, <laughs> if they got one, they usually got two because they don't want to lose, be without them. I don't know if I'll need, hit, need it on this one. I'll just lift him up. Okay. Save me from bending over. Another fat, healthy blue cat now. Now you tell that wind has not let up. Even if we're in this little cove right here, it has not let up. No. And we have come out here, I'll, I'll let him loose. We've come out here and we've got on this nice little school of catfish right here and we're just having a big old time. But I'm gonna tell you, we would be miserable if not for them bad boys right there, them power poles. They, they work. Oh my gosh. We could sit here and really talk a lot more about them, but I'm gonna tell you, them things right there has made this trip possible. Yeah. We, we'd be miserable without them. Got him? Got him. Got him. Oh, come, come here. How about that? Stud muffin. Just chomped her down. Pulled it down. Oh, he's a nice guy. I got him broke the lead. He's coming right at me. Broke the lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not so nice anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just think that. <laughs> it's a nice little school we've been on right here. Yeah, they're moving in and out of here. There we go. There we go. Another nice, healthy blue cat. You know, for you guys right there going, man, these are little fish, them ain't big old. We're not after the big, big trophy blues. If we catch one, that's all fine. But you're seeing, we could almost shoot a live show out here. We're catching one right after another. And anybody thinks this ain't fun, you don't need to be on our boat. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. This is a good time. You ain't joking. Hey, we are here today at the Team Catfish World Headquarters located in a secret place in Oklahoma. And we are here <laughs> with the owner, president, CEO, and founder. That's a lot of titles. It is. Of Team Catfish, Jeff Williams. And Jeff, man, this place has really grown from first time we met in your, in your garage. This place has really expanded. You've done really well, haven't you? Thank you. Yes, uh, we were in about a uh, 500 square foot garage in 2009. And uh, with Team Catfish and all the brands that we have at Outdoor Brands, mm -hmm. uh, last year in September we were able to move in and f not fill up, but we've, uh, we're on our way to filling up a 10,000 square foot warehouse here in the Grove Industrial Park. So uh, we have been very blessed. Okay, we're in the uh, shipping room here where we send out a lot of our internet orders here at Team Catfish Outdoor Brands. And these are just some of the products, Team Catfish products, that internet folks are ordering on a daily basis. That's why we have them in here, where they're easy to get a hold of. We sell lots and lots of Secret 7 and Sudden Impact Fiber Bait. Thousands of cases of this stuff go out of here every year to internet orders, distributors, and dealers. Uh, we have a fantastic selection of Team Catfish hooks. These started in 2007, and they've just become wildly popular hooks, terminal tackle like the sinker slides, sinker bumpers. Uh, we have uh, Thundercat casting and spinning rods. We have tug of war monofilament. And uh, to go along with all of the dip bait, uh, we have our own bait holders. We have the mini furry thing bait holder, and we've got a bait holder called a dead red dip tube that uh, the guys use for the secret seven catfish baits. Stuff just like this fish grip. I mean, there is there not a cat fisherman out there that doesn't have this Team Catfish fish grip? I mean, it's just stuff like that. You know, you're holding in your hand right there the Dead Red Blood Spray. I mean, Number one selling product at Team Catfish. That's it. Four years in a row, and any catfish angler can use it for any catfish anywhere. You know, this is just another one of the American success stories right here where a, a guy had a dream, 
and he worked hard. It wasn't like it was just give to him or anything, and you know he's become successful. So, you know, if you guys out there that love to catfish and, and and whatnot, just think of Team Catfish, and you're you're helping a just a great family here, and and they'll they'll always provide quality products of what you've seen now, and we couldn't be more prouder to be a part of uh, Jeff Williams and uh, his family with uh, Team Catfish. So, check them out. Go to TeamCatfish.com. I guarantee you they'll have what you guys need to be successful catfish. Here we go. I think got that one. A lot better bite right there. Oh, he splashed out of the water. Yep. Oh, oh, Jeff. We'll have to get the camera. <laughs> got him. Now what? Okay. Just put it back in the drift, Master. And okay. Mine's, know, mine's coming right at me. I don't, I don't know if that stayed on or not. Yeah. And this happens sometimes. They'll come and you get two, three, sometimes even four at one time. That's what a good rod holder would do for you right there. Oh, there he yeah, he's, still, yeah. he's still there. Oh, my. He's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a triple header. Woo-wee! And see, a lot of you guys would have probably said, you know what, it's too windy. I ain't gonna get out, I ain't gonna do it. But then some of you think, that's the only time I can get out. That's what I'm talking about right there now. You need to be here. <laughs> get rid of that one. You know, I was saying a little bit earlier, about reeling down and hooking the fish or the fish goes down and hooks himself. Scott had a fish here, I had a fish there. This double action hook did its job. That rod got buried, fish got hooked. He had not going anywhere. Gave us a chance to get up here and get him. Yep, little triple header. Scott hadn't cast this out there so far, I'd make some headway. Another, <laughs> another nice healthy blue cat right there. A little bigger than that last one I pulled in. Woo! That was a, uh, we almost moved, didn't we? Yeah, he just rolling out there. And... I'll get him. Okay. Come here, bub. Got him. There you go. Nice, dark colored blue cat. Shoot, my hands done give out. Jeff, let you get that hook out. We have had a big time. You know, the conditions weren't the best, but uh, for all you weekend warriors out there that just have to fight the weather and everything, you've only got a couple of days. We didn't have the best, neither, out here, but we made good with it. We overcome, we adapted, and we caught a bunch of fish, didn't we? We went through some rough water, we found us a place where we could fish. That's right. And then we found the fish. Not the most glamorous. We wasn't out here in pretty water or everything. We didn't catch the great big fish or whatever, but we caught a lot of fish and we had a big, big time. I had fun. You want to do all this catfish and everything? Go by, see Jeff Williams. Holler at him at teamcatfish.com for all your fishing gear from when it comes to catfishing. And I'll tell you what, he can, he can hook it up. You can have just as fun a day as what we've had today. But that's all the time we got for today. Just remember, keep what you can eat, release the rest, and we'll be out there somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Fort Forcer. For Jeff Williams, I'm Scott Turnage. We'll see you next week. All right, Jeff, what do you think? Um, Made her up again? You bet. <laughs> <laughs>